Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, we have this 2001 Dodge Ram 1500 with the 5.2 liter engine. The issue with this vehicle, it has a bad surge, and the customer, when he brought it in, he had a hard time bringing the truck inside. So on today's video, we're gonna get to it, and we're gonna fix it up. All right, let's start off with the codes let's see what we have and uh, we're gonna look for any codes that could actually have an oh well right there we're gonna start off with manifold absolute pressure sensor low voltage let's see what else we have oxygen sensor heater bank one sensor one and the last one is a leak detection pump switch mechanical malfunction all right so what we're going to be looking at probably going to be the map sensor because that could cause surging issues so let's look at our live data that we have here and let's see what we have how our map sensor looks and then we'll, we can look at our oxygen sensors as well where we're there all right so right now the map is reading pretty good at uh, atmospheric pressure as we speak all right let's go ahead turn on the vehicle and what I want to see is about 10 to 12 on idle let's see what we get fluctuating like crazy so as you can hear the vehicle check out the rpm i don't know if you saw that little fluctuation right here now we're stuck at 2.7 and just kind of fluctuated again oh Luckily, I have my uh, my scope hooked up to the front, and let's actually look at this data. Let's see what we have uh, on this. Okay, because this vehicle doesn't actually have a mass airflow sensor that would be hooked up to the snorkel right here or before the throttle body, this is a MAP sensor engine. Uh, what we can do, I can actually take off the snorkel so I can show you where the MAP sensor is at, and I'm going to show you where I back probed it so we can look at the data right here on the scope. So so as you can see, I removed this out the way. And like I said, because it's not mass airflow sensor, we're not getting readings from here, so we're gonna be okay. This right here, that's the map sensor right there. And this is gonna be a three wire sensor and what we're doing we're trying to get the signal wire so that's going to be that middle wire right there as you can see we're back probe so we have the positive lead hooked up to the signal wire we're going to have the negative lead hooked up to battery uh, negative right there all right so what i'm going to do now we have actually i can show you this this is really cool with uh these viruses right here you can go to guided component test click on there uh, we're gonna do fuel injection and then we can actually go straight to map sensor and what it'll tell you right here give you component information about everything I want to read it all out to you it's just basically telling us which wire is gonna be what PCM positive 5 volt signal uh, and then uh, or 5 volts from the PCM middle is gonna be the signal and then the outer one is gonna be our ground so what we can go is DC voltage test and that's going to let us know that you see key on engine off we, we should have at least 4.6 to 4.9 volts at sea level and then once we get it up to about uh, 20 inches of vacuum it should be between 0.8 to 0.1 or uh, actually 0.8 to 1.5 and as the vacuum decreases the voltage is going to increase so right now what I have hooked up I actually pulled the vacuum line to the brake booster right here and I'm gonna hook up my gauge 
So we have our gauge hooked up right here. So we're going to have the readings of the actual vacuum reading, and then we're going to see what we have coming out from the sensor. And then we can go right there and, and say, is this going to be an issue with the sensor, or we're going to have mechanical issues with the engine. So let's get this engine turned on. And sorry for the glare, but I'm going to try to get it at least right here so we can get our readings. Alright, so I just turned on the vehicle and uh, let's look at this. Look at the actual vacuum. Pretty steady. Bouncing just a little bit. About 17. And look at this hash movement that we're getting. We're at a low 0 0.049. It was jumping around. Sorry for all the glare. See if I can get this better. Yep, it is at extremely low voltage. Nothing good at all. So what we're gonna do, I'm suspecting a bad map sensor. So let's get our brand new map sensor. Let's test it out. Let's see what we have. Let's get our readings. Hopefully it's not going bad. And look at our readings right here. A little bit low, but we're in the normal side. It shouldn't be reading this, this low right here. And that's why the engine is just shaking and vibrating. All right, so the part that we're going for, we went for a standard motor parts. Uh, good thing that I like about this, look where it's made. Great old USA. And after I opened it up, did find something else that was quite interesting. This is actually a Mopar part. So this is actually pretty cool. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna change it out. Uh, we're gonna have two bolts on, uh, on the one going on the, to the uh, throttle body. And they're gonna be Torx, if I'm not mistaken. It's a size 25, so we're gonna take those off put this brand new one on there and let's test it out let's see what we have so as you can see we have our brand new map sensor hooked up we have our leads hooked up to the scope now let's turn on this vehicle and let's see what we get all right so i did change up my various my other various got a battery just died so i'm going to crank on the vehicle right now and we're going to check out our vacuum right here and on top of that we're going to check out our voltage so let me go turn on the vehicle and see what we got So we can look at our gauge, we're pretty steady, remember back then it was jumping up and down around here. And our map sensor we're reading at least 1.5. And to me that looks pretty good. Uh, the issue that we had before, after a couple of seconds you, you would start seeing it jump up and down. But they both are reading pretty good. Uh, what I'm going to do, I am actually going to go inside and then we're going to go through our little scan tool. And remember, our, our little handheld scan tool, it showed about 2.9, 2.6 uh, inches. So I'm just going to go back in there and we're going to see if we see a difference. But overall, vehicle is sounding a lot better with a brand new map sensor. And as you can see, we have a straight line. So let's go inside let's check it out. All right, so we're right here at our readings. We're at 10.6. I remember last time it was 2.9, 2.7, I forgot. Some, somewhere in the low numbers. Check out our readings right here. Remember before we had big old dips. They just kept on going in and out. The variance right here, I know you're seeing some dips right there, but it's from 10.3 to 10.6. So, I think we have a fix right here. We're gonna keep it running for a little bit longer, but beforehand, it wouldn't even last, I would say, I would, 30 seconds until it started acting up. So there you go. We used our little handheld scan tool. 
this is uh, one of my favorite ones. Um, I do have my Altel right there. I'm sorry, this customer's car is a little bit dirty, but it's okay. Uh, it's a worker. So we have our Altel right there, and I have my little handheld, and we use our Varus, uh, our Varus with the scope. So there you go. If you do like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to hit the little notification bell to get all the brand new videos coming from Oz Mechanics. And I just want to thank everyone for just, you know, even if 100 people watch my videos uh, when I post them up, I'm just happy to know that, you know, some of y'all are watching these videos. So I just want to give a shout out to all my subscribers out there. And thank you very much. Hope y'all have a nice day. Take care. Goodbye.